What's up Revenue World, Joshua again here and in today's video I just wanted to express very quickly this opinion that I have about this particular actor from this particular movie that I just re-watched and it got me into a lot of thinking, you know? It caused me to do a lot of thinking. Sorry, I'm, I have a little allergy right now going on. Anyway, <clears throat> it made me realize that <clears throat> based on the comments and my own personal review of this magnificent movie which is called according to this name in english it's called cold pursuit cold pursuit is a 2019 so that is the year so that's when we watched it all right it's a 2019 cold pursuit is a 2019 american thriller film with a lot of action directed by hans petter mullen in his hollywood debut in a screenplay by frank baldwin the film stars Liam Neeson, Tom Bateman, Tom Jackson, Amy Rossum, Dominic Lombardozzi, Julia Jones, and Laura Dern, as well as John Doman. <clears throat> it's an official remake of the 2014 Norwegian film In Order of Disappearance. Forgive me if I'm about to butcher the pronunciation of this Norwegian name. Carf. No. Crafty. Crafty Dioten? Crafty Dioten? Crafty Dioten? Am I pronouncing that right? Should there be any Norwegian person by any chance lurking around, please let me know if I'm doing it correctly. Eee! Anyway, back to my comment about this particular movie and this thought that I have. Well, you see, the name of the villain is a uh, drug dealer. I'm not talking about that because I enjoy being alive. Uh, yes, it's... Uh, Oh, by the way, the name in my country, in Latin America, this co this movie is called, for some reason, it's called Venganza, which means vengeance, which gets me into thinking. Seriously, Liam Neeson, in how many movies about revenge and vengeance are you going to be starring this year? Or in your life, actually? Because I could easily make a joke about that, about the fact that you are always starring movies about vengeance, so... Do you feed on vengeance or something? Anyway, back to the comment on hand. You know, the main villain, it's a drug dealer, right? A uh, drug dealer and apparently the name of the actor, it's Tom Bateman. Tom Bateman. T-O-M, Thomas Jonathan Bateman, born in March 15, 1989. English actor! So that's why his voice was particularly weird. And odd at the time of speaking. Well, because many people in the YouTube section comment in the YouTube comment section complain that his American accent is terrible when in fact his English. I did not know that. I honestly did not know that. Well, I would like to say that I agree with a, I I agree with a lot of people who are saying uh, are saying in the comments that Tom Bateman would make an excellent Joker. Yes. Tom Bateman would be an excellent Joker because he has the persona, he has the charisma, he has the body body complexion, and when he was smiling, smirking, and giggling when he was about to eliminate the the character of the the character, the brother, the character that is the brother of the main character, he was laughing in such a way that I was like, oh my god, that is a very Joker kind of smile, which get, makes me think. This guy is a little crazy, but that's amazing. You need to be a little crazy to interpret the Joker. Look at Joaquin Phoenix, Cesar Romero, Jack Nicholson, and Heath Ledger. All of them did an amazing job, and none of them are better than the other. And I'm pretty sure that Tom Bateman, this English actor, uh, is known for his roles in the Da Vinci Demon series, 2013-2015, to 2015, and The Murder in the Orient Express. Ooh, fascinating. So yeah. That's my comment. Tom Bateman would be an excellent Joker. Why? Because I love his performance in Cold Pursuit. Farewell, Brave New World.